Oh man, there are few opening sequences on the Super Nintendo that give me chills like this one. Dracula has risen yet again, and it's up to Simon Belmont to stop him in his first 16-bit console appearance, Super Castlevania IV, released in 1991 by Konami. And so with that boost in bits, Konami made tons of enhancements and improvements on the classic Castlevania formula. Even though Castlevania 4 borrows the same plot as the original NES classic, this is not the same Simon Belmont you may have grown up with in the 80s. Play control is greatly expanded with the ability to whip in 8 directions, or actually in almost any direction if you hold the attack button down. Flailing your arm around might look a bit silly at first, but it actually works great as a quick shield from projectiles or to bitch slap your foes in slow motion. And another huge change in the gameplay is in Simon's jumping. It's still the same height every time, but now you can at least change direction in midair, jump onto stairs and drop down from stairs. Throw in a few grapple points to swing around on, and the Belmont family has definitely moved on from its clunkier past. The level design is adjusted accordingly, but the added control precision leads to far less frustration. Of course, that's not to say that gameplay in the prior titles was flawed, but I think you'd be hard pressed not to find someone who never threw their NES controller in anger because of the old rigid jumping mechanics. And as you can probably see, the controls were not the only aspect that saw a major overhaul, as Konami did their best to also show off their 16-bit muscles with some amazing graphical effects. The levels are very ornate and detailed, often utilizing several layers of parallax scrolling, and Mode 7 goes into full effect in some very memorable moments. There is a bit of slowdown at times though, mostly caused by some of the excessive exploding monster animations, but it rarely interferes with the gameplay. And the foreboding atmosphere in the level design and graphics is also masterfully supported by a striking soundtrack, rich with jazzy acoustic bass and creepy pipe organ. <laughs> Some of the classic themes return, and some new ones would become classics on their own. And for me, this is one of the best soundtracks in the entire series. So despite the massive evolution in presentation and play control, this game is still very true to the old school Castlevania spirit, with a heavy focus on tricky platforming, gothic ambiance, and simply whipping your way through the gamut of spooky monsters that should feel very familiar at this point. This is 11 stages of side-scrolling bliss. Well, as long as you've got that holy water handy. <laughs> <laughs> 